Welcome everyone to Let's Talk in English on PTS and the radio. My name's Andrea. And my name is Gabe. And the truth is, we've been talking about KTV and karaoke this week. Thank you for joining us. Yes, we're glad you joined us. And of course, today is the last day and we're going to find out the truth. First, let's take a look at our keywords. Say them with us. Our first one is truth. Truth. Don't lie to me. Tell me the truth. Whole. Whole. I don't just want one piece. I want to eat the whole cake. Solve. Solve. Karen is good at math. She solves math problems quickly. Mystery. Mystery. No one knows who stole the money. It's a mystery. Over here. Over here. Allison spoke quietly so no one could overhear her. Okay, let's review these words. Truth. Truth. Whole. Whole. Solve. Solve. Mystery. Mystery. Over here. Over here. I think I hear something. Is, what? Is that Eddie? What is he huh? doing? Nothing. Eddie, are you Eddie, talking? Eddie, what are you doing? Nothing. Just oh. listening for the truth. Oh. I see. Uh, well. Are you trying to solve something? No. Uh, yes, there's a mystery. What's the mystery, Eddie? Today's mis mission. Yeah, today's you mission. You got is a it. Mystery. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get it. Uh, okay, today's, today's mission. What song did Brian and Patty sing together? What song did Brian and Patty sing together? Well, friends, you will solve that mystery in today's lesson. Let's go. Why did you put 7,000 NT in a songbook? My friend gave it to me. I put it in the book while I talked to her. Then I forgot the money when we left. Which room did you leave the money in? Room 401. She's telling the truth. That's the right room. She heard us say that. If this is your money, then you will know how many bills there are. Well, um, there are seven, of course. Seven 1,000 NT bills. Wrong. This isn't your money. So, Patty knows that the lady is not telling the truth. It's not her money. No. Nope. You know, Patty is very smart. Yes, she knows that the lady is not telling the truth. The lady is lying. And we'll find out how she knows that soon. But first, let's learn our key word here. It is truth. Truth. Now, the truth is something that is true. When you say the truth or tell the truth, you are not lying. And let's use this word. If you have done something wrong, then you should tell the truth about what you did and don't lie about it. Sarah said that she was 20 years old, but that's not the truth. Sarah is 30 years old. Whoa, she did not tell the truth. She was lying. It is very interesting that they found $7,000 in the songbook. But I think this lady just wants to get some money. What do you think, Gabe? I think so, too. Many times people will tell a lie. They won't tell the truth so that they can get something. Dear Journal, what an exciting week. I saw my mom's sister and her son for the first time in 10 years. Aunt Susie is so nice. She told me to call her Susie Ie. She is a lot of fun. 
She is a good singer. My cousin Brian is really smart. I think we will be good friends this summer. He and I sang a whole new world from Aladdin together. We also ate squid balls. They were really good. Okay, everybody, I have a little test for you. The first question is, what do we find out about Aunt Susie in this part of the lesson? Well, Patty tells us that Aunt Susie is fun and she's a good singer. And number two, what do we find out about Brian? I know, I know, I know we find out that Brian is smart. And what song do Brian and Patty sing together? Well, Gabe, that's the answer to today's mission. Hey, you're right. Okay, today's mission is what song did Brian and Patty sing together? What song did Brian and Patty sing together? They sang a whole new world together. A whole new world from Aladdin. Well, let's look at this key word, whole. Say it with me, whole. If something is whole, that means nothing is missing from it. Something is complete. It is whole. You can say, I want to eat the whole apple by myself. I don't want to share the apple with anyone. Or, I like to spend the whole afternoon singing and watching TV. You can also say the whole class will go on a trip. That means everyone in the class will go. There are no students who will not go. That's right. And Brian and Patty sang a song that's called A Whole New World. We also solved a small mystery. We found 7,000 NT in our KTV room. A woman said the money was hers. She knew what room we found the money in, but she only knew because she overheard us. She didn't know that there were six 1,000 NT bills and two 500 NT bills. When we gave the money to the real owner, he was very thankful. Well, it's time for me to get some sleep. I'm sure there will be more to write next week. The KTV singer, Patty. Yes, Patty is the KTV singer, and she solved a mystery, didn't she, Gabe? Whoa, she solved a mystery. And let's look at those two key words. The first one is solve. Solve. Now, when you solve something, that means you find an answer to something that you did not know. And let's use that word. I was working on my math homework and I took half an hour trying to figure out the answer to a problem. And finally, I solved the problem. Two plus two is four. Oh, okay, Gabe, I'm glad you solved that mystery. Thank you. Okay, friends, let's learn our next keyword. It is mystery. Mystery. Now, a mystery is something that you don't know. Maybe there's a mystery that you're still trying to solve. And if you go to watch a movie, some people like to watch mysteries. These are movies where the answer is at the very end of the movie, and so you are watching and waiting to see what the answer will be to this mystery. You know, sometimes I like to buy mystery bags of candy. If you go to a store and you buy a mystery bag, that means you don't know what's inside. When you open it, you are surprised. Our next keyword here is over here. Over here. Now, if two people are talking, but they are not talking to you, and you listen to what they're saying, then you overhear what they say. Well, I think that someone is listening to us right now while we teach. They are overhearing our conversation. Gabe, who is overhearing us? 
Conversation Replay. Why did you put 7,000 NT in a songbook? My friend gave it to me. I put it in the book while I talked to her. Then I forgot the money when we left. Which room did you leave the money in? Room 401. She's telling the truth. That's the right room. She heard us say that. If this is your money, then you will know how many bills there are. Well, um, there are seven, of course. Seven 1,000 NT bills. Wrong. This isn't your money. Dear Journal, what an exciting week. I saw my mom's sister and her son for the first time in 10 years. Aunt Susie is so nice. She told me to call her Susie Ie. She is a lot of fun. She is a good singer. My cousin Brian is really smart. I think we will be good friends this summer. He and I sang A Whole New World from Aladdin together. We also ate squid balls. They were really good. We also solved a small mystery. We found 7,000 NT in our KTV room. A woman said the money was hers. She knew what room we found the money in, but she only knew because she overheard us. She didn't know that there were six 1,000 NT bills and two 500 NT bills. When we gave the money to the real owner, he was very thankful. Well, it's time for me to get some sleep. I'm sure there will be more to write next week. The KTV singer, Patty. Calendar Phrase Welcome back, everyone. Now, I'm sure that you can't wait to hear our calendar phrase. It is, I can't wait to go again. I can't wait to go again. Now, if you did something that was a lot of fun and you want to do it again, Gabe, what do you say? I can't wait to go again. Well, I can't wait to go and see our calendar phrase skit. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's, Let's go, go see it right now. I can't wait to go again. I can't wait to go again. Whoa, that roller coaster was really scary. Yeah, I am never going on that ride again. Really? I can't wait to go again. Let's go again. No, it was too scary for me. Well, I thought it was fun. I can't wait to go again. You're right, it was fun. I can't wait to go again. Let's go again. Okay, I'll wait for you two right here. I can't wait to go again. I can't wait to go again. Welcome back, everyone. Now, Eddie. Eddie? Yeah? yeah. Do you have the question of the day? Yes. Yes, I have the question of the day. Do you want it? Yes, please. Good. Here it is. The question of the day is, have you lost something before? If so, what? Have you lost something before? If so, what? You know, I have a secret for you. I lost my teeth. Your teeth? Yes, my teeth. These are fake teeth right here. I lost the real ones. They broke and then I lost them. Interesting. Okay, well, friends, thank you for joining us here on Let's Talk in English. On PTS and on the radio. And remember, learning English can be fun. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Mystery. Over here. Over here. Allison spoke quietly so no one could overhear her. Okay, let's review these words. Truth. Truth. Whole. Whole. Want to eat the whole cake. Solve. 
solve. Karen is good at math. She solves math problems quickly. Mystery. Mystery. No one knows who stole the money. It's a Welcome everyone to Let's Talk in English on PTS and the radio. My name's Andrea. And my name is Gabe. And the truth is, we've been talking about KTV and karaoke this week. Thank you for joining us. Yes, we're glad you joined us. And of course, today is the last day and we're going to find out the truth. First, let's take a look at our keywords. Say them with us. Our first one is truth. Truth. Don't lie to me. Tell me the truth. Whole. Whole. I don't just want one piece. I will. Solve. Solve. Mystery. Mystery. Over here. Over here. I think I hear something. Is, what? Is that Eddie? What is he huh? doing? Nothing. Eddie, are you Eddie, talking? Eddie, what are you doing? Nothing. Just oh. listening for the truth. 